Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for LiOH plus BaCl2, lithium hydroxide plus barium chloride. The first thing we do with these net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two chlorine atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the LiCl. So the chlorines are balanced. Now I have two lithiums. Let's put a two over here. That balances the lithiums, two hydroxides, two hydroxides here, and barium and barium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So lithium hydroxide, strong base, that's going to be aqueous. Barium chloride, chlorides, they're very soluble. So this will be aqueous, lithium chloride, aqueous. And barium hydroxide, that's considered a strong base. That is aqueous. But let's check on a solubility table because sometimes this will be listed as a solid. So on our solubility chart here, we're looking for barium. That's right here. And then the hydroxide. So we go down here and then over barium hydroxide. That S means it's soluble. It will dissolve in water and will break apart into its ions. So we know that it's soluble and we write AQ after it. So what that means is we have all of these broken apart into their ions and all of these broken apart into their ions. And if we wrote that out, it would look like this. And if you look at them in the reactants and the products, we have the same ions. So nothing has changed. And because nothing has changed, there's no reaction. So we don't have a reaction taking place. There's no precipitate formed. Everything is aqueous in the reactants and in the products. If we were to cross out the spectator ions, two lithiums, two lithiums, two hydroxides, two hydroxides, two bariums, and then two chlorides. There's nothing left, so there's no reaction taking place here. Sometimes you'll see this listed as a solid, and if you mixed enough of this, you might get solid barium hydroxide. But for the purpose of net ionic equations, because this is considered a strong base and it's soluble, we keep it aqueous, and there's no reaction in the net ionic equation for LiOH plus BaCl2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.